Hi guys, welcome to Garden News Friends. Today we're going to talk about Montauk daisies, also known as Nippon daisies. It's a great choice if you would like to have flowers in the garden late in the fall, when there are very few flowering plants around. Nippon daisies are native to the coastal regions of Japan and have been naturalized in the United States in New Jersey and Long Island, New York, near Montauk, and named after it. They're great companions to the late flowering garden moths. In the summer, they are appearing as well, having bright green leathery leaves. It's the end of the winter and beginning of early spring now, and you can see that they already have broken dormancy, and it's a good time to prune them. There are a couple of schools of thought how to prune them, and you can choose what works best for you. If you prefer shrub-like shape, you can give them a little trim or you can cut them almost to the ground now and then approximately one third in the second half of June so they won't be leggy and have more flowers and bloom late in the season and won't be floppy. As always, we have a few pruning tools we're gonna use. And um, of course, it's always good practice to sterilize them. And let's get to work. When you start cutting them, you can feel right away they have this pungent odor. Uh, not everybody obviously is gonna be appreciative of that. But the good thing that deers and rabbits really repelled by that, so they don't touch the plant at all. And look, you guys, such a great surprise. Our neighbor's cat Marcus just showed up. We haven't seen him whole winter, and now here you are. Welcome. And we're done with all the pruning for now with this one. And it um, looks nice and tidy now, and then we'll let it grow. And if you would like to propagate Nippon daisies, it's very easy to do. You can do it from seeds, simply divide the uh, grown-up plant, or do it from cuttings. We have a bunch of cuttings, and you can do it pretty much all season long. And uh, it's a very simple thing to do. Just cut it with sharp pruners and stick it in a jar of water, and they will root beautifully. You can just... Um, change water on a regular basis and in, in a couple of weeks time you'll see the roots and then of course can share it with friends I think I've done a lot of it and nobody wants them anymore but as I said I still hate them to go to waste so I'm gonna do some more cuttings hopefully someone, someone will claim them <laughs> 